All right, you figured out your topic. You got the keyword, you wrote an awesome article and you promoted it. Now that article should be sitting there getting some early traffic and then after that two, three, maybe four month period, it should be ranking on Google for that initial keyword that you went after. Now, you have an opportunity to update the article in the future, and this only takes a couple minutes, in order to help it rank for something even better. And we talked about this a little bit when we went over the keywords at the beginning, but it's this opportunity to re-optimize the article in the future, and it's a very simple process. And this is something that you'll want to keep doing as articles start to rank until you get an article to that big keyword that you were uh, hoping you could go after initially. So there's a couple of easy steps to this. First, identify higher value keywords that it's starting to rank for just a little bit. And this will be in your Google Analytics data. It'll say, uh, okay, this article is starting to rank for, let's say in the water fasting example, it's ranking well for five day water fast, but it's also getting a little bit of traffic for water fasting results. And if we look at our spreadsheet, we know that water fasting results had a much higher volume, 5,400, than just five day water fast results, 260. So if it's starting to rank for water fast results, that's an opportunity for a new keyword to go after. Once you've identified that higher value keyword is starting to rank a little bit for, all you have to do is reword the headline to fit that keyword. So in the case of that article, all I did was change the article. It initially was a little bit different. It was initially just this. I consumed nothing but water for five days. Here's why it would happen, da da da, -da. Uh, And then I reworded the title tag that Google saw, like I talked about in the earlier video, to the water fasting results one. And that was just to make it so that when people were looking in Google, the first thing they saw was that water fasting results keyword. Now, once you've done that, you've reworded the headline to fit that new keyword, all you need to do is a little bit of the promotion again. So if you wanna give it that bump of traffic, you can just post that article to a lot of the same places, do a lot of the same sharing. And then once you've done that, all you've gotta do is sit back and wait. It was already showing up a little bit for that higher value keyword. And once you've reworded the headline for that keyword, now you just wait and you'll see some of that traffic come in. Now, let me quickly show you how you can identify those higher value keywords. So we have this list of possible keywords. So all we're gonna do is go into our Google Analytics and then we're gonna to go to that article and see how it's ranking for them. And make sure you do have Google Analytics installed. It's fairly simple to set up, so uh, I'm not gonna walk you through it, but once you have it in, all you need to do is go down to Acquisition and Search Console and then Queries. Now, this is gonna be all of the queries that people are landing on your page for, but we wanna refine it by just one specific article. So if we go up to landing pages, then we can select five day water fast health benefits in this case. And once you've selected that, we'll be able to see all of the queries that it's ranking for. Okay, so we can see that we've got water fasting results here, huge number of impressions, water fasting, huge number of impressions and clicks. That's kind of the biggest one that I could go after and that's what's driving most of the traffic. So. If I was still at the point where it was just talking about the five day water fast and I saw this, I would say, oh man, I should really change it so that it says water fasting right at the beginning. So you can do this for any of your articles that might be new and starting to rank. So let's go look at one of my articles now and we'll just walk through this. Uh, and we'll try to find a newer one that doesn't have as much traffic yet. So yeah, what if we look for savable income? Let's see what that's ranking for. Maybe we'll have some ideas there. Savable, B3X, Natalice, and Earn One, Richer Three, saving a third of your income. Nothing too relevant that we would want to structure off of. So we can go back. Let's try another article. How about lifestyle business. So this is an article about building a lifestyle business that I would eventually want to rank for the keyword lifestyle business, but it's probably not there yet. So it's ranking on the position 44 for lifestyle business, uh, which is pretty not good. We would want something quite a bit higher. Uh, passive lifestyle, five months, how to build a lifestyle business. It's a little bit closer to that. So we could try rephrasing it in order to fit how to build a lifestyle business. But this is a fairly new article. So I would want to give it a little bit more time to settle in. It's only been out for about a month. I'd want to wait two or three months before doing this. But once I do, I could probably restructure it to fit how to build a lifestyle business uh, from scratch, step by step, something like that, just to get it a little bit higher in those rankings. 
So that should give you an idea of how to find other keywords to go after, restructure your headline a bit to fit them, and then what you'll likely see is that you start to get more traffic for that keyword and more traffic in general since it is a higher opportunity keyword. And with that, you're done. All you have to do now is go out and implement this.